Um, can you just tell us a little bit, very briefly, about the film and uh, the characters you play? That's okay. The many characters. Mm. <laughs> the yeah. film is about the f the sort of years between from Shakespeare being 30 to 37, is that yeah. right? And uh, it's how he arrives at being the Shakespeare that we, we know today. So he tries the, his hand at playing the lute in a band. Yeah. Interpretive which, dance. Interpretive dance. Which he fails at, mm. so. There um, are seven years that are sort of unaccounted for in his life, so mm. we've, we've uh, made a story about that, basically. Made a load of stuff up yeah. about um, how <laughs> Well, you know, it's credible, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Could have happened. Oh, yeah. No one can say it didn't. No. No. Um, and I play his wife, okay. Anne Hathaway, um, who is very long-suffering and is tired of all his sort of crazy aspirations and wants him to just come back and be a dad. To, that We've got three children. We, they have three children together. Um, and so, yeah, that's my main role. But then I play um, about three other parts in, in it. So, yeah, mm, okay. we're all doing multiple. Uh, I play the Earl of Croydon, who's a sort of wannabe uh, courtier, okay. wants to be the top of the tree, but is very much the, the bottom of the tree. The bucket, it's at the bottom of a Christmas tree. He's like that. <laughs> and then I play uh, Juan, who's uh, uh, a um, weapons expert and a sausage man, who is a sausage. I'm not sure what you said. I said I was a sausage <laughs> man, and I'm not sure what I was saying either. Uh, a sausage <laughs> man and uh, peach pelt. I think I play four of no, and a Russian. Russian. I keep forgetting the Russian. Not a Russian man. Yeah. It's because my uh, my makeup's so good. I don't think it's me. Oh right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I play uh, uh, Christopher Marlowe, uh, who is a, a, a dramatist who is going through hard times. Yeah. And I, I'd like to think he's kind of the Obi-Wan of he the is, piece. Yeah. Yeah, he is, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, amongst mentor, others. So the others are uh, Gabrielle, who's uh, one of the Spanish assassins, mm -hmm. um, Man on Toilet, Grobby Man 2. Um, mm -hmm. I'm struggling to think of what else. Oh, a well, party planner. Oh, I play yes. this kind of okay. uh, camp. Um, okay. Yeah, Excellent. Planner, who's mm. great. So obviously you worked together for many years, mm -hmm. various different projects. Um, how did this come to be? Because it's obviously quite a big uh, extension of your previous work. So uh, mm. tell us about the film and it coming your way and how you got involved. Yeah, it was something I think something that Ben and Larry had always talked about, and then mm. it was like Horrible History Series Three, I think, mm. that they sort of s mentioned that they were going to write something, mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, it was they presented us with the an early draft. And we read it, and we loved it, and that's it, really. I think it's always been the kind of natural progression for not necessarily us as a group. It's amazing that we've got mm. to to do this, but I think that's something that they'd always, you know, wanted to do. So, Excellent. yeah, it's great. And how do you pick pick your roles? Are you, are you given them, or do you not go, I want that one? Or yeah. well, we were given our principal roles for this okay. film. Um, I think Larry and Ben did a really great job at, at casting the film for the principal characters to our strengths, mm. really. Um, all the other little parts are kind of divvied out as far as the schedule is concerned. Mm -hmm. So whoever's in makeup for that hour isn't playing Sausage Man that afternoon. Mm. Or, Thank goodness for you, eh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone else could have played no, Sausage Man. I think you're right, actually. <laughs> Excellent. Um, no. Okay. And in terms of, uh, obviously, on set, I can see there's obviously some, uh, some room for a manoeuvre in the script going on. How much is that? From the script, how much do you improvise on set? Is it not as much on this not film as, much as, no. think, yeah. as, as, as we um, probably would usually do with a sketch show? Mm. Time is so s s scarce on a sketch show, so you have to kind of, I think, you have to kind of add bits here and there, and and just to make things flow. And and often with horrible histories, I think we the material was was so. We had so much to do and so little time that often we would kind of deviate from the script, whereas here I don't think we could really. No. It's quite there's, tight. There's, there's bits and bobs, there's, there's, there's bits, but yeah, not, not, not as much as you think. <laughs> They've mainly been cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have actually, yeah. Excellent. And uh, obviously, it's a film for all ages as well. So, you know, I, I said to the other guys, I watched the film with my mother in law the other oh, day. So and she, yeah. she was absolutely. Loving it. I think she's, she's not really aware of horrible histories to start off with, and she was kind of 
it's just all about by the end she was cheering along as well so oh, it's really really good stuff um, and in terms of working amongst yourselves you obviously you've known each other for a long time and obviously you've worked on other projects as well how different is it to working on this say than something else away from each other it's it's so weird now yeah. i think for because we're so used to having this sort of um, camaraderie within and when you go and do another job you're sort of just another actor in a group of actors and then you go off and you do something else so mm. because we're we're all great friends now we've worked together for such a long time we really miss each it's other. Like coming home, working. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think. Yeah. I think even if one of us was to work in LA or something, or get a job yeah. overseas, I think we'd always try and um, come back yeah. because everything we do together is kind of like a love project, really. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd do it for free. <laughs> I mean, I'd do it for free. I mean, go. I'd, go. I'd, 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 rather, <laughs> I'd rather not do it for free. You know, don't. <laughs> Don't all get. You oh, know, bloody let's not, let's not all. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I would. I oh, know. If, nice. if it's someone nice. it's really nice. gave me lots of money for something else. Sure. Excellent. Well, best of luck with the film. It's absolutely Thank you. brilliant. Thank you.